Okay, good morning, folks, or good at in whatever time of this week or this afternoon. It's Monday, 23rd. And on the 21st, folks, we had basically a six point something quake because they say six point. Let's go take a look real fast. But as I'm looking at this, you play through and you're going to see, if you pay attention, you see how bluish we are and it's about as bright as we are? Remember how bright we were a while back when we didn't have the meatball close to us? And uh, how dark Watch when you're watching that the idea that we used to have a lot of huge brightness. And we will again when the meatball moves away, the huge shadow or the meatball just itself. Okay. Now the reason I haven't froze here at this point in time take note of this, is you will see a shadow of, we know that we've seen the dark shadow of some planets, and we always do when it starts up. Matter of fact, when I start this video, when I go here to start it, you will see, if you're new to here, you'll see the dark planets that all of us have known and seen the shadows. And basically, you know it's not a shadow because it doesn't move. These are dark objects that are between us and the sun on the telescope. And basically, this is a webcam at the telescope. Uh, just doesn't zoom in like a telescope would, okay? So, and it's a webcam, but it's a scientific webcam where the idea that you don't, you should not get much color distortion or anything like that. Now, you will see this, you can't miss it. Right here, there's darkness here, darkness there, and you will see this pop in and out, okay? And then realize the idea, go back and watch all my old videos, and go back, and you can go back through to a cloud video player and watch all the movies, and you will see where it was brighter earlier before we had the meatball get this close to us. Okay, into the sun and the supergiants. Okay, so right here you have a shadow, and also that over here, and I don't know if this will match up to what we we'll always see that's between us, the sun and the supergiants. Okay, so uh, I don't know what else. I was just in here, and I just seen that right away, and I wanted to put it because remember we seen this big kind of a riff through the sky when it's brighter. And if you watch when we play this, we're gonna play right now. And here's our dark objects, bang, 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 bang. There's all kinds of them, and then there's this triangulation of dark objects over here on the right that you'll always see over here even you start the movie you can back this movie up to save time for this video and you see all those dark objects out there then you'll see that kind of bang bang that it's coming in there this shadowing right there okay and basically I can just play with the player a little bit not play with it but the idea you can see I back it up and you will see that bang bang that shadowness and then you'll see our also the idea when you watch the clock and you freeze it it's not airplanes it's too damn fast the plane doesn't move across the f that much sky and within a minute So as you notice here, we get a little bit of brightness here, but then it kind of goes away, and we get more darkness, and we get kind of like an orangish, reddish down here. And you know this on the sunsets you've been getting it. And if you take a welding lens out there, you will notice that the idea that we have a huge sun behind our sun, either that or our sun is behind a huge sun that's almost the same size as the sun, and you'll see separation when you at sunset if you have a clear sky. You need to go take a look at that with the safety of a welding goggles welding a dark shade welding lens okay either that or like I've said uh, overexposed film that doesn't have any light through it you get film old, get old film that's just all black and you're always like well there's no picture there well that's good you can look through that safely at the Sun and not hurt your eyes it's just like a welding lens ladies and gentlemen so as long as and it should be as long as it's exposed film that does have no shot on it now if you notice it's a lot darker up here high, and we used to have the light like this here lineage, and then you see a little, we're getting a little bit bright here and, and reddish up here, okay? So along here, you see the light that we normally get that we were getting across all the sky before, okay? And there's the sun and the supergiant, so you know where that sun comes from, okay? You know where all that brightness, even at this dark of space, you know where that, that brightness comes from. Now, and you notice at the bit back of this video, now those was dark objects again, and basically I can fast forward a little bit and there's a little bit last of the, the darkness there and then you keep watching and as you see we get the light down here lower but we don't get it higher okay so and then as you notice as I can just basically I'll fast forward up here to like when the Sun and the supergiant start coming up and you will realize that that even in darkness of space, and then I'll go, I'll play some uh, CME recent action, and you'll realize that the sun and the supergiants do light up space like a mofoler, like a huge, huge, huge light. Okay, now the sun and the supergiants should start coming up here. I just need to stay away from this so you can see the clock. 
And there you go. So the idea that when you get that light, so we do have the meatball around no matter what, and you will see the meatball, and we'll show you the meatball right now. Now there, at the very end, and not worried about what come up, because basically from what we can tell, now they're only going to give us so much time in the sun at the end, okay? So there again, just before the sun comes up, or whether it's one of the ones out of the super giants, it doesn't really matter. They don't give us enough time on the video to tell the, the difference. But also, when you freeze it, and if you look at the sun when it comes up, which is dangerous, okay, and then they don't let us look at that because normally you could sit there and look at the player and have it. Okay, here we go. See if I can freeze it. Okay, you see, and there's a good example right there. I froze it real good. You see how we get this, and yes, the sun's coming up, Earth's rotating, so the idea, everybody, oh, we get a 3D effect. That is somewhat correct, okay? Because this is a 3D effect right there, okay? Because the sun's not right there above the clouds, okay? Not one of the suns out of the supergiants and so forth and so on. But you're getting this effect here, and it's also, if you watch the moon at nighttime, which the idea we might have, and this is what the 3D effect that you're getting right now, okay? If you, I'm pretty sure more than likely that we have th the moon right there. I'm not positive, but I think that's the moon. As you see, it's half shaded. And if you watch the uh, satellite from a TV satellite system company that has a uh, camera on there, they watch the moon and the earth all day. During the daylight time in your area, they will show you Earth, and at, at nighttime, they will show you the moon, and you will see to the right-hand side these, it looks like a star, and it is because it's a reflection of the sun, and it's getting propagated from this, all the brightness in the supergiants. It's getting propagated on the right-hand side of the moon when you're watching that satellite feed. If you can get the live, I'm not going to advertise for them, but the, if you can get a live satellite feed of a satellite company that has a camera on their satellite that shows the moon at nighttime and also the Earth during the daytime, when it's because they always beam it towards your coordinate of your sky. They know where the sun's at and where the sun's not at. Okay, so you get that reflection there. Now let's go to out in the space and check what's every making everybody watch my videos because basically, now folks, if you've been on the net watching movies in the last year since Fuka Fudge Up, you know you've seen some phony BS. People try to take power, money, and control, and religious and propaganda, and, and Bino just shows you the data and the truth all the time. So let's pump this up to like 125, and actually let's go a little bit more. Let's go to 150. So some of it will come out, but the idea that you'll know that you your date and time is correct. So this is out in space, ladies and gentlemen. Soho is awesome. We have a comet still down there, and we know that the head is a little bit farther out, and we have seen the head. Now they have actually, it seems like well, they're showing us the head of this comet again because it seems like they've zoomed out a little bit. Uh, if I have time, you'll see also that they've zoomed in and zoomed out on some other footage. Now you can see the meatball. And I'll see if I can freeze it so you can see the meatball good through this huge CME. But first, we're going to just keep on watching the CME play. We're at the top here. You can see the hugeness of the sun and the supergiants out there. And Venus is glowing hugely big. Now, remember, we're at a V location between Venus and Mercury. I'll show you the map of uh, Sechi. And quickly, there was they called it a 6.6. .6. Now, this could have been a 6.9 or whatever because they've taken a lot of ticks off over the weekend. Okay. And remember, I told you those fast mo objects. I haven't checked to see if it matches up. But it should have probably matched up with some of those. Ma and remember those fast objects last time when I said we had the quake to come by? Uh, when we had the, the 8.9 over in Sumatra and so forth? Uh, basically, factually, that uh, it was the day after. It was the next day, but then remember you got the UTC clock also. So when they were moving away. So we had that 6.6. .6. We'll have to see whatever fast those objects we have again. And I don't know if that matches up, but remember I was warning people about that before. Now, I'm going to take and drag this a little bit, and you'll see, and what I remember in that one video, I had no sound. We've got to start watching, and everybody in Alaska has been telling me that the idea there is, gr they're, they're, they're going to have a volcano that's going to end up erupting up there now pretty s sooner or later. Now, let me show you on RSOE. Now, remember, we have a double of the map, so the United States is over here, okay? So when I go ahead and hit on, and they basically kind of cover it up because they have the quake over top of the volcano now there, and then there's no information, okay? And basically, I think everything's okay to now with the idea that they have evacuated in the idea of the Mexico volcano. Now, if I can zoom in this in, I'll try to zoom. As a matter of fact, I can think I can do it on just the map alone. Let's zoom in a little bit, and you'll see now straight across. And hopefully, if I didn't go too far, okay, good. I got lucky. Here we go. You see how we got the volcano straight across, ladies and gentlemen? Check this growth out that we've had before in the past. You can always see how Earth has grown. Okay, you can see the earthquake line north and south. Now, over time, and basically, 
Uh, there's a lot of uh, propaganda going on because they're starting to talk about it. methane gas naturally has probably messed up the dinosaurs years ago. Everybody's wanting to know what knocked off the dinosaurs, what knocked off the dinosaurs. A lot of stuff, just like a lot of stuff that we got going on right now. Okay, now, so you got volcano, volcano, volcano right in a line going across. Okay, we have not had growth here for ages. Okay, we haven't even seen that they don't even propagate and show the map line. They don't follow this here trench right there that's out there in the ocean and it's also a trench in mountains underneath the ocean okay so we have all and we know that Hawaii's had quakes lately and everything like that and then if I can move up on the map here hopefully with the dot distorting because if I make one little bump well I get screwed up remember I was zoomed in and showed all the activity now we know Alaska has been active okay we also know there's volcanoes up there okay and we also have volcano there volcano there and we know that the ring of fire goes along here okay and basically all of these are earthquake volatile plates that all these lines are and once again they pop in because they want to say hi good morning Karasoft okay so basically you know that we're gonna end up more than likely we've been seeing steam out of the volcanoes up here in Alaska it doesn't matter which one you look at you've been seeing steam out of them and some of them are starting to quake a lot more so if you look at the fires or you also you need to pay attention all over the earth we have drought everything is crazy on drought even over in Asia okay and also the cool temperatures that are in Asia and also in uh, in the United Kingdom. Okay, uh, we have weather patterns totally temperature, uh, cold and warm air masses totally shift. Uh, basically, we gotta watch for uh, plate action. Like you've seen how Earth has grown over the years, millions and billions of years, folks. You see here shelf plate 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 shelf plate plate you can't miss it when you look at google or you look at any of the maps from geo satellite pictures of earth okay the earth is taking pictures all over the place folks this stuff all matches up it's all real okay it's not just an airbrush painting so along here volcanoes connect and also up here volcanoes connect and they are on the plate line the fault the ring of fire the uppermost portion okay Remember, the ones that bother us the most is quakes down low, and that's where that Papua New Guinea was 6.6, .6 and where the 8.9 and stuff has been before. So the most important thing to realize is everything down low on quakes is the most important because the idea that's where all the major portions of water, and if we get fast movement of water, remember, I showed where the I, the factual that we had a huge amount of movement of water, and everybody says Indonesia is sinking. Okay, so we've got growth going on watch the fast moving objects out in space and here's all your volcano activity folks last 30 days okay all that's data and then they go into the, it's the idea that it's all scientific it all matches up they've been knowing it for years okay so we had the fast moving objects I believe come by because if you remember I don't write them all down or any I don't even write any of them down you don't have time and uh, factually we have fastest moving again will be this one so basically the 12th okay and I'll also tell you February 28th of 2013 is beginning to be a major uh, February 28th 2013 ladies and gentlemen that's all I gotta say okay and basically, February 28th of 2013. Get your head out of your ass, world. Okay, so basically this is our fastest as I sit here and look at the data for a second. So, and then they have, this is close distance and yes, but we're going to have closer around, and I've got to get it nailed down, January and February 2013, okay? They're going to be our closest. This is just going to be a nice little test again here, okay? So... First thing we do is we jump right to the code. So it's going to be tracked real close. So we have our close approach data, and like I say, February 28th of next year, and then I'll get down to the at Nat's ass of January and February of next year, 2013. This is going to be the closest until the end, I think. So this is the dark shadow we're getting down at the South Antarctic, okay, and everywhere else around Earth, okay. Huge meat. You can even see out in space how dark it's made it, and basically you'll see the meatball, the fringe is right there on the line. Right here is the outline of it, okay? And right here you can see how the CME blows over the huge meatball. And as you see the CME going up there. Okay. 
and it's wild. It's wild. See, me, huge meatball. This is how close an approximation, remember, but a half a million miles close to Earth at.